News for cancer patients. Health authorities have approved the use of immunotherapy in patients. It's been hailed a something of miracle cure, using the body's own immune system to fight the disease. Our reporter Ngobile Matlala joins us now to explain how this all works and what it means. Good afternoon to you, Ngobile. So a breakthrough, of course, for South Africa. Immunotherapy can be used in six types of cancer. Tell us more. Well, definitely some good news there coming out, Morena. From what we understand, basically, uh, immunotherapy was available in South Africa a little bit earlier, but it was used on a clinical trials where they would figure out whether or not it can be used to look at these cancers or assist those that are fighting the virus. Now, what we understand is that there's been an approval into six different types of cancers. And I mean, we already know that cancer has claimed a lot of lives. In 2015 alone, South Africa had already said, 15, over 58,000 deaths were from cancer. So now under the pandemic to hear something like this, it is something that is a bit of a relief to understand that your immune system can be boosted in order to fight off the cancer. And that's basically what immunotherapy does do. Now we understand that for cancer, you don't really have that many options when you are being treated. Mostly we are familiar with chemotherapy, which a lot of people have said in the past that they They've, they've reacted badly to it, even though they've gotten some help, while others have been uh, looked into targeting treatments, and now there is immunotherapy. The only sad thing about this is that it's quite expensive, from what we understand. Not all medical aids can pay for it, but we do understand that this is a step forward to the right direction. So I did file a report. Please listen on. Being told you have cancer is like getting a death notice but not anymore, as there is a treatment that can help. Peter Chattery had stage 4 cancer and has survived to tell the tale. And now he wants the whole world to know how he has done it. His journey began with thyroid cancer. And they took my thyroid out, not here. And I had radiation for that, and um, that sorted out the thyroid uh, cancer. And um, a, a couple of months later, um, I had a problem with renal cancer, and um, I lost a kidney uh, that was wrapped around a 1.7 kilogram tumor. But the cancer continued spreading. Chemotherapy wasn't helping. Peter thought his days on the earth were over. Now, I was told to get all my affairs in order. Um, because I wasn't going to be too long for the world. But it wasn't over yet. Peter was placed on immunotherapy trial. And it basically killed everything. Great news for Peter, but how does it work? On the immune cell, um, to explain it, you've basically got an off switch and an on switch that uh, your body regulates to control your immune system so that if you have something that's attacking the body such as an infection or a cancer, um, your body will turn on your immune system and switch it off when it's, the threat is gone. What immunotherapy does essentially is that it blocks the off switch so that your immune system is continuously turned on and in that way your own immune system then actually fights the cancer. Well, this is exciting news for cancer patients. There are still great challenges for those that would like to use this drug. This is because immunotherapy is not freely available in state hospitals, while medical aids often don't cover this expensive treatment. But the hope is that registering more uses for immunotherapy to treat different cancers will help ensure long-term survival with good quality of life. Nobila Mazala, Johannesburg.